Hi friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and I wanted to do a little whip and chat of this beautiful picture that I was gifted by Monica from Diamond Painting Baby Cakes. And this is a DAC We Are Sun and I thought I would do a little whip and chat with you, catch up with you today. How is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I am doing great. Every chance I get to visit with you is a win in my book. And I want to know what you're working on today, how the weather is where you are. It's very warm here in Middle Tennessee. We've had some thunderstorms moving through. We're expecting more thunderstorms over the next couple of days. And then we are going to see one nice day when i say nice i mean the temperature may be in the mid to high 70s which i will take it for august that that's a win in my book so but i hope you're all doing well i am just working on this is my very first diamond art club picture that i've ever worked on and so monica again thank you from the bottom of my heart i love it and it's been real fun to work. I also have, it was an embarrassment of riches this past week, my friends, because uh, not only was I gifted this, but then uh, what arrived on my doorstep a few days later was a beautiful gift from my dear friend uh, from Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. Uh, Sweet Tea gifted me and also sent a gift to my twin sister, Judy. She has a video of our, of our unboxing of, um, her, our gifts from her uh, and it included another diamond art club picture uh, and also a storage kit and a pen to go with it so we filmed a, a quick unboxing of that and you can see that on my twin sister Judy's channel all fired up crafting lounge so I went ahead and kitted that up as well. It's my first square painting from Diamond Art Club. This is my first round painting from Diamond Art Club and the painting I got from Sweet Tea is my first square painting from Diamond Art Club. So I'm very excited about that as well. And I will be doing some whips and chats on that. So I'm very, very excited about that as well. And then I have, of course, my other whips and chats that I've been doing, uh, the Snow White and Seven Dwarf stickers. That series we're continuing on. And uh, also the little stained glass tulips. We're still working on that. And I might be doing another project as well, another diamond painting. I'm thinking about that as well, another Timu diamond painting. So I'm excited about that. And I just placed another Timu order. So that will be coming in soon. So look for an unboxing of that. I think I only ordered, I'm not sure, I I know of at least one diamond painting, um, but there may be two. I'm not 100% sure. All right, so the next color is the number seven, which is the number seven. And we'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, it's a pretty pea green color. That's really nice. And my nails I've done. These are nails from Timu. They are, <laughs> it's not a color that I would typically wear, the blue. But my husband actually saw these and he said, you know, I'm not a fan of blue fingernails, he said, but I actually think these would look really cute. So I said, oh, why not? I'll give them a try. They were like a dollar, less than a dollar fifty. And um, we are Buffalo Bills fans. So I thought, you know what, that would be great to wear for the opening weekend for the Buffalo Bills. And I did. And they won. Yes, they did. So let's go Buffalo. 
So, I, uh, I had fun putting them on. They were easy to put on. The only thing is the glue tabs that I used, uh, they gave me a little bit of a hassle when I went to pull the plastic, because it's almost like a piece of double, double adhesive tape, but in like a gel form in a, like a, a thick, a thicker form than double adhesive tape and almost like a glue dot. And I put it on my finger and I pressed down on it, you know, on my nail. And then I went to pull back on the, on the plastic piece to release, you know, to get the other side, the other adhesive exposed to put the nail down. And it kept ripping on me. I had to pull little pieces of the plastic off. So that was a little rough. It took a little extra time to do. And it was difficult to see because they're clear tabs. So the cellophane is clear and, you know, I didn't know, I, I would put a nail down and think that I had all of the clear plastic off of the adhesive, but then I would discover that I didn't. So a couple of times I actually had to take the nail back off, remove that tab, that gel tab, that adhesive tab, and then put a brand new one on my nail and I really wasn't thrilled with that because I don't like to waste things and to me that seemed a little bit wasteful. Granted uh, I had enough tabs to do it and I also have I've purchased a package of, of uh, the glue tabs as well but you know I was a little a little put off by that that I that they kept ripping the little pieces pieces of plastic kept ripping but honestly for the most part, I've had these on for a few days now and they are holding up beautifully and the adhesive tabs work great. So I have no complaints over that. The only thing is, I don't know if it may be that particular batch, the, the plastic tabs. It looked like those plastic tabs, the uh, plastic had little cuts or tears in it. I don't know. You'd have to look at them a certain way to see these little slits or you know cuts I don't know so that's that was what the problem was but listen I'm so cheap I squeak when I walk and I wasn't not I was I was not going to throw them away even though I bought myself extra tabs I wasn't going to throw these away they came with the kit and I was going to use them so that's what I did so friends I happen to have this is the leaf portion of this picture and that's all complete so I think maybe we'll move onward and let me put this color back but it's a really nice yeah I like I didn't think I would like the blue but it's growing on me I just thought it was really cute my husband showed me one night he says what about these? And I said, you do realize they're blue, right? And he laughed and he said, yes, I know they're blue. He said, but I thought they'd be fun. I said, you know what? You're right. Let's give it a shot. And like I said, for $1.50, I'm not, I'm not really upset about it. So let's go ahead and well, let's do something up in here because there's a little less glare up around this area. Move my little cover minder up. So I think we'll work on this area right now. So let's start with this color right here, the little dot. And that is color number 22, which is 3822. And so we'll go ahead, nice pretty buttery yellow color. And we'll use this one because I didn't have enough room in one bottle, so I put it in a second bottle. I did have a little bit of static in the drills. A lot of the drill packages had some static in it. So I went ahead and I put in a piece of dryer sheet in each of them. And the dryer sheet for me works really well. Other people put them in the freezer. I, I just, yeah, I don't have room in my freezer to put packages of drills. <laughs> so I'll use the tried and true method of the uh, dryer sheet. 
So we'll start there with this color. And this is really coming along nicely. It's a great painting to do. Uh, it's actually coming along pretty quickly as well. The drill field is nice. The adhesive is nice. Like I said, the only thing with the drills is there was a little bit of static. Now I did already kit up the other Diamond Art Club painting that I got from Sweet Tea. So, um, and those were square drills, far less static in them. But I have to say that the quality of both sets of drills around in the square, wow, very high quality, very shiny drills. The bottoms of the drills are really great, very flat, no imperfections on them. I don't know if you could see that. Now it might be a little too close. There we go. So the, the quality of the drills are really good. There we go. And I'm really happy to be working on these two pictures. I also have, that's right, I, I do have another picture that I'm working on also. It's a lion with a pink flowers and a pink mane. So I'm working on that as well, and I might throw a, a whip and chat out there with that. And that's also a Timu that I got. Timu's got me hook, line, and sinker with these diamond paintings, I'll tell you. All right. Maybe I'll go up a little further. Why not, right? Matter of fact, let me bring my little clock over here. I like to keep a watch on the time and keep it maybe about a half hour or so. This might be a little shorter because I didn't watch the clock before, but that's okay. I'm going to have plenty of whips and chats out there. I just, in this Timu order I put in, they have these um, cardstock that almost, I think they're just about the size of a playing card. I'm not sure. I'm fairly certain. And if they are, I'm going to use them for my um, drill storage to separate my uh, drills. The only thing is I'm not going to do a card for each color. I'm just going to do like the first the ones that start in one, I'll put a one. The ones that begin with two, I'll do a two. Like the 200 and then 300 and so on and so forth. And then when it gets up to, you know, 30, the 3000s, then I'll separate three zero and then, you know, put a card there and then three three and then three seven, three five, whatever. keep going. I think we'll go up to that line. So we're right here. And I think I paid maybe a dollar fifty for the package. I think it's got a hundred cards in it. A hundred of those. Uh, and they're blank. And I think their color is green. And the reason why I got the green ones is because they're cheaper less expensive. The other ones were like $1.98 and I said, no, thank you. I can, I can live with the green. I'm telling you folks, I'm cheap. I make no bones about it. I shop on budget friendly sites. I use coupons when I can at the grocery store. I am a cheap but you have to you have to be frugal these days, friends. You know, I enjoy crafting and I enjoy this, but you know, I just don't have the the money, the extra money sometimes to spend on all the bells and whistles and the, you know, the big ticket items. So I have to be creative. And that's why I'm a very budget-friendly kind of gal. But I was so blessed to be gifted not just one Diamond Art Club painting but two from dear dear friends who I consider my sisters in crafting and 
they'll never know how special they are to me, honestly. I don't think that in a million years I would be able to thank them enough for their generosity and kindness. And these are paintings that I would admire from afar, but not purchase for myself. both pictures. This is a love of sunflowers, which Monica knows that I have a deep love of sunflowers. And then the puppy from Sweet Tea, which you'll see in videos, upcoming videos. Like I said, I'm going to do a, a uh, whip and chat working on that. You'll see me work on it for the first time, working on a square diamond art club. I have a video coming out for that. And, uh, She knows my love of dogs. You know, we have our little man, Spoto. And I think a little gnat or something just flew across the screen. So, there's that. I can't believe it's, by the time you see this, it'll be just about the middle of August. Unreal. Before you know it, September will be here. Todd and I call September and from then on to the rest of the year the Burr months because it's September, October, November, December. And when it gets cold, you go Burr. So we look forward to the Burr months. Very much so. I saw a little something, a little blurb on TV today that said that uh, the rest of this tropical storm season from now until November may be pretty active, which I don't doubt it. It's, uh, it's actually not been too horrible as far as tropical storms go right now, but I know there's parts of the country that have been hit pummeled, pummeled with hail storms and just really crazy bad storms that blew through. It's been... It's been a year for sure, but as far as tropical storms, I think we actually have fared pretty well. But I think from now until November, it's going to start really ramping up. So please, friends, be mindful of your area of weather. And if you are in any type of a zone where you need to evacuate or take shelter of some sort for whatever situation may arise, please heed the warnings. I see so many people that have passed away from storms that, you know, just from flooding and from tornadoes and tropical storms and they've been, they were begged by people to evacuate and I understand that sometimes it's just not possible. I get that, and I, I feel so bad. If there is any way, though, please make sure you get to safety during inclement weather. And even during severe weather during the winter, you know, there's ice storms and blizzards and, and such, and you have to be mindful of that as well. But these tropical storms and hurricanes, you know, they really... they meteorologists can give you days if not weeks ahead of schedule and keep you up to date on the movement of tropical storms and hurricanes so you know that should give you a bit of time to try to come up with some kind of a plan as to where you might need to go and who you might need to stay with and and such and of course you know try to plan ahead and keep yourself a little emergency bag of some sort. If you take medication, make sure you have a little extra medication with you. If you have pets, plan for them as well because heaven forbid a storm comes up and you have to evacuate and you're you're able to take your your fur babies with you. God, I hope you can. But they'll need to eat, and if they have to take medication, they'll need their medication too. 
So you have to uh, be mindful of that as well. I actually, uh, with any animal that Todd and I have had, my husband Todd and I, uh, we've always, I've always been over protective of them and so I always make sure that I have some kind of a almost like a bug out bag for my pets you know we have a, a little plastic tote that we have for us that we put together uh, with water with cooking you know things that because we camp so we have the portable cooking stove and everything we know where that is we have you know canned foods and foods for that are easy to make and that last have a good long shelf life so we have our own little bug out kick uh, kit for us and then we also have one for our pet as well for Spoto which if he's on any medicine then we would make sure he has medicine if he you know whatever food we make sure that he has enough food even you know you even pack a few toys in there for for them as well that's my little soapbox moment for this whip and chat <laughs> sorry about that it's just i worry about my friends so and if worrying about my friends is wrong well i don't want to be right I will always worry about my friends and always care because you all mean so much to me because without you and your support and your love and just friendship I wouldn't have this channel so I thank my stars every day I thank God every day For this gift that he has given to me for the ability to make these videos and for the many many friends that I've made truly blessed I think we'll give it another 10 minutes or so and that will just about bring us to a half hour mark might be a little short but like I said I didn't start my I didn't check my little clock before so and I'm just gonna use whatever I might add a couple more but and with me when it comes to you know what areas I work on it's willy-nilly sometimes sometimes I'll pick a certain you know area a square area and work on it Sometimes I just fly by the seat of my pants. Today happens to be one of those fly by the seat of my pants days. Why not? I'll pour a few more in there. There we go. Bright, sunshiny yellow. I love it. And when I'm done with these paintings, they'll be sealed and they will be hanging proudly in my office. Or I get to see them every day. What do you do with your finished diamond paintings, friends? Do you gift them to people? Do you put them just in a portfolio? Do you hang some in your, in your homes? I have some throughout my home. I even have one in my guest bathroom. But I have most of mine, a majority of mine, in a portfolio. Where I take them out and look at them. And think of how fun they were to work on. Some of them a little less fun than others. We all have some of those diamond paintings that are like, oh gosh, I'm glad that's done.
but for the most part, every diamond painting I, I have, I have a good memory of putting it together. Like I said, this is coming along really easy. Um, it's just super simple. It, it really, as you can tell, I mean, there's so much that, that I've been able to fill in. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really impressed with it. Most of the paintings that I've worked on lately have just had numbers and letters. These are mostly symbols. So it's taken me a little getting used to the symbols. But it's fine. And I happen to have the picture on a on a side angle. Going this way instead of going this way. Because it was easier for me to film at that angle for the camera angle. I talk like I'm, you know, some big director. I don't know anything about that. That's why half the time you see just a big mess when you're when you tune in. <laughs> when you tune into my channel, you'll get a just a, a big old mess. But it's my big old mess and I love it. Let's see here. All right. So we will put that color away. And let's see what else we'll start on. I'm feeling like, let's start on this darker. It looks like it's probably gonna be a darker orange. It almost looks like from this angle, it looks like a, an eye, with an, an angry eye. I'll show you. When it's to the side, it looks like an angry eye. But when you look that way, it's a whole different symbol. <laughs> oh, I poured so many out. I don't need nearly that much. But that's okay. Go ahead, excuse me. There we go. Put my stopper back in. I like that stopper. That's a neat little added touch that they've added to Diamond Art Club kits. All right. And so we'll go ahead and find some of these little angry eyes. So yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to bringing you more content, different content, different whips and chats, projects that I'm working on. Some now these, if I I will probably do another whip and chat of the sunflower, but I will be working on the sunflower while I'm off camera as well. So next time you see this, there will be quite a bit more done. So, so anyway, but the other projects that I'm doing, like the, um, stickers and such I save that I save those until we're together to work on them together
and we are just about out of time today. So friends, I think we're going to wrap it up for today. For today's little whip and chat, we were able to finish this leaf right here. Work on a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the orange in this in these couple of petals of our beautiful sunflower. And we'll take you back out. There we go. And it's really coming along nice. I don't know if you can see the, oh my gosh, look at that shine and shimmer from that leaf. Friends, I'm barely moving that canvas and look at that. That looks like a movie star's dress on Oscar night. Whoa, that is gorgeous. The sparkle and shine on that. Man, look at that. So I've had a blast working on this with you today. I want to thank you all so much for stopping by uh, and visiting with me while I worked on it. And I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel if you are a current subscriber. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so as, um, you know, your support means everything to me. It really does. Please, friends, hit that thumbs up button, um, you know, that helps out a great deal as well. I am a very little crafty fish in a great big crafty pond. There's enough room for everybody to enjoy. And uh, your support is just absolutely amazing. And it really does help me move up even teeny tiny little bit up in the algorithm. So hit that bell notification as well because you will be notified when I do upload new videos, which I am trying to upload more content and uh, comment, leave me a comment. Where are you from? How's the weather? What are you working on? If you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them. If you have any suggestions of other types of videos you'd like me to do, I'd be happy to do that. Crafting videos, of course, uh, or, you know, maybe cooking or, you know, maybe another little trip to Debbie Gets Crafty Nail Salon and we can do a little uh, nail video again and chat. Let me know what you'd like. And until I see you all again, my friends, please take care of yourselves. Watch out for your friends, your family, your neighbors, and please, please be the voice for all those animals as they don't have one. From my heart to you, take care. Goodbye now. <laughs>